there's a night one. Time to burn. Finished. Should be less freaks around here now. Finally, shut the hell up. Here we go.
shit! So, oh, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. <sighs> I see him. Use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Oh, God damn it. it, wasn't a kill shot. He got away. Oh, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. You just gotta track him. <sighs> okay. Here's the blood spots. Look close. Yeah, I see him. Then follow him. All right. He'll be slowing down about now. There's too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man. And, yeah, he 
He, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. You got something to say about it? What's up? What's up? Bring some bounties in? Yes. You do the killing. I'll do the counting. That's all I got for now. How's it going, Deke? Manny, what's going on? I'll get in the gate. How's it going, booze man? Fine, goddammit. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. Can you swarm me if you get a chance? Shit, okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers. Believe it or not. Shit, I don't believe it. Thanks, Dean. See if we can map. Alright, now I just gotta find some meat. Perfect timing. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. I grew up in these <laughs> woods. My grandfather taught me all about hunting. Funny how it still works in a world he never would have dreamed of. Should work. I built my first treehouse to use as a deer blind. Getting height on your target helps your aim and keeps you safe. Back then, I took out my first doe from up top. Today, my camp's up in the trees. You want to survive and can contribute. You come to me. We got you covered. Grandfather also too. To catch a dope. Sometimes you gotta lay it in. Oh, shit. Like a rock. Hide where they see you. Like a watering hole. Today, you're as likely to be prey as hunter. So you gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're hitting up places we all need to go. Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done?
This way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what did that mean? Something. Uh-uh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or some... Sub Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? Or what? I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next time, refugee Nero camp, protocol two the chapters were burning. The, I, Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay? Okay? You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll, I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. 
I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. 